Ah, uh, Hannah! What's up, my cool dudes? I'm Dawn Dude, and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi Fi battle. Yeah, I know, it has been the longest freaking time. The reason for that is because I've been trying to get the Emperor to. I've been trying to figure, figure out the record, how I'm recording the Emerald Weblock so I can get that up. And I've been goofing off in the, uh, talking to Kim and everyone in the ch chat group I'm in. So yeah, I've just been having a good time and trying to figure out how to do what. Uh, how to actually make the weblock work. Anyway, before we get started with today's battle, my opponent will be down in the description, who I'm not naming for now, because also down in the description are two fantastic people. One, Glitchex City. She filmed the most amazing music you guys will ever hear in your freaking lives. So in a sense, it is kind of a crime that you don't go and subscribe to her. Now the other person is the actual genius who films my Wi-Fi battles. The guy with the capture card, you get most epic guy around the Gulf of the Worlds, 8000 epic dude, LOL. He is in his link, the link to his channel is down in the description below as well. Now, I don't have a lot of time left for the team, so let's go. My opponent is Bias Productions. Awesome guy, awesome, awesome guy. Anyway, his name is Sylveon, his Latio, his Roton Watch, his Conkelda, his Heatrain, and his Megalopa. I'm bringing Teddy Cruel, Hydreigon, Dust Cops, Explad, Beedrill, and um, Sylveon. Anyway, let's get right into this battle. Okay, so he's going to be on pay, Playboy the Low Pony, and I'm going to go into You Jelly Bro. I'm going to switch out, because I don't want to take an incoming fake out. Now, I, this was my first time versing Mega Low Pony, so the fact that slipped my mind was that it ha a Mega Low Pony has Scrappy. It's going to make her all get that nice and powerful Mega Revolution off. going to hit me with a fake out. And... He, he's gonna withdraw Playboy, predicting the will of which I went straight away from, just like, screw over predicting, I'm not gonna bother wasting time. Anyway, Sylveon, Sylveon gets burnt, his Sylveon gets burnt, and, yeah, I switch out, because what can I do but go into back into Tensor School? Why well, you gotta be so cool? Did I really just start? I uh, don't get it started. Anyway, he's gonna get for hyper voice. I'm gonna get my black flush recovery. And yeah, he's gonna switch right here into I believe his brutal wash. Yeah, his brutal wash. Now, I was I just didn't care what was coming out. I knew he was going out, so I just decided to get a scold off. Hoping for a burn on anything that comes in, especially the low pony cloud. No, nope, that doesn't happen. <clears throat> so anyway, he is going to switch out and go into yeah. I mean, I'm going to switch out and go into my Hydreigon as he goes for the bulk switch. A physically bulky Hydreigon. He eats it up. He eats bulk switch. He eats bulk switch for day. He's going to go out and just swallow his Conkelda. That's because he has an initiative over what he wants to go into. Anyway, so, I am going to switch out. I'm scared as hell from a drain punch coming from that thing. And go into the bowl. <clears throat> there, he went for the knockoff trying to get rid of my leftovers. And instead, it got him something better. My firelight. He's going to withdraw Swole. My guess is, there's no one in the book, get burned, he's probably Iron Fist. Yeah, but I go for the Disable. So anyway, he's gonna go for Stealth Rock. And get those drops up. I'm gonna go for Pain Slip. 
Bro, I want my I want my hit points back. Like get almost get them all back. So this shows that he is a specially defensive heat train. Knight can be a pain in the butt to deal with. He's gonna go for earth power. Without my fire, I'm not taking that too well. So there's enough to, a lot of damage, but that was a crit, mind you. That was a crit. And I can get a half health with the nightshade. So I so I don't know if he's invested in or in war, anything. I mean, anything to do with HP because I just told to the time I, even though that's 50 damage, that HP dropped to to real low. So I'm gonna drop it through my hydrate for taking another earth power. Gonna actually get some leftovers. He's gonna get some leftovers. And it's leftovers for everybody. So he's gonna protect. See what I'm gonna do. I actually went for the Dragon Pulse here. If anything, I should probably went for the Dark Pulse for neutral damage instead of. But anyway, what's done is done. Actually, this battle is full of misplaced. We'll get that to that soon though. So he's gonna switch his guy out into a Sylveon. Yeah, this time I went for the Thunder Wave, hoping I could slow him down. But unfortunately, he is Sylveon's already burned. Not one of my best moments. Not one of my. Anyway, I'm gonna switch out Midnight because well, you Jelly Goats can take Sylveon on. He was predicting that anyway for the flipping slot. Shy, shy shock. Yes, yeah, so you jelly girl is officially doomed. Doomed, doomed, doomed. Okay, I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna bring us. I'm gonna break out my Skrillex, play some really good tunes as he goes switching out into Heatran. Hmm. I'm gonna go for the Boom Burst, just wreck us all. This, it does a hell ton of damage. Heatran. Which I'm really when I I'm choice specs modest, so when I saw that I'm just like, oh my god, you just eat it up. Just wreck him squarely. Unfortunately because I left it, it just barely misses the kill. He's gonna go for a lava plume. That doesn't kill. They'll get though he gets the burn, which is really annoying. Quite frankly, it is really annoying. Okay, so, anyway, he's going to protect you right now. Probably still, still for the burn now. See what I'm going to do. I'm just... I think he knows I'm specs in the burn burst. Now, this is where I make the dumbest mistake of the game. I switch out Skrillex when I could have easily burn bursted that thing to death. What's even more annoying is that I go out into Sylveon, forgetting that he train that Sylveon's weak to he train. But he goes for the protect. Anyway, he we're both gonna get some leftovers. Reveal that. I think he yeah, he's fast. Yeah, he's fast. I'm gonna get for protect because why the hell not? Why the hell not? Yeah, what he's gonna do? Unfortunately, I could have so played this game better. So annoyed how I played this game. First of all, he got misplaced down the back here. Anyway, he's going to. I'm gonna get some burn. I'm just gonna get burned. I'm gonna go. Oh, I'm not gonna get burned. I'm gonna go for show. See what I mean? He train would have been oh, would have been done and out if I'd gone. For for the boom burst. But no that cautious side of me just said, you know what, you're gonna need it. you're gonna need him later, so anyway, I am going to go out into the bulk. He's practically useless. Now he's evolved off, so I figured, hey Skrillex needs to get his ass back in here and start wrecking Salty. So I figured, hey, just let you go. Yes, but not the way I want to 
CMR. Not the way I want the CMR. He's going to use less of a longer, get burned down to 2 HP. I'm a little bit annoyed that it didn't kill, and he's going to go for protect just be that guy. Gonna be that guy and just let my guy die. After he gets his leftovers. I am a little annoyed, honestly. I was a little annoyed that he pulled a cheap shot like that, but then again, couldn't blame him. Okay, I'm gonna go on the scrolls. He knows his guy, he's practically done here. I'm gonna die at the end of the turn, so he's like, Hey, what the hey, I'm just gonna let my heat train die because I don't need it anymore. Hmm. And I can't blame him. Unfortunately, I wasted Skrillex so badly. If I kept him in, he would have just survived the burn and... Okay, I go out into B drill. And this is the another misfeta century. I mega evolve and go for the protect like any other mega B drill user. But next turn is where, where I pull the dumbest move ever. Anyway, he's going for it. I'm like, hey, I can take this thing out. I'm adaptability. I'm, I'm a freaking B drill. He doesn't take him out. He has the wheel on this ball, and I'm doing. Oh god, did I really just keep my B drill in? I was over predicting way too much in this battle. The over predictions were real, utterly real. So he's going to withdraw his thing and go on two, back into the conch Hilda. He, this guy just keeps adding insult to injury, I tell you. So I'm going to U-turn, add in the Sylveon. Because really, that is the best thing I can do. Beedrill is useless, so might as well stack it for death order. And I'm Sylveon just waiting, waiting, waiting. Just have Sylveon... Just come in, wreck some souls, take some names. And he's like, for the hype of. Actually, I think my survey was a girl. He or she. That's a he. So, be on Rex. He Rex. Easy on withdraw swall. Bit annoyed. Bit annoyed. He goes in a row time, I would rather would have gotten the KO on Kong Kelda if, if I was entirely honest. Because really, Kong Kelda is not a threat, row time is practically dying. Really, really was a clean switch in the Playboy. I'm going to go for Protect just so I don't get fake added. I actually usually do. He's going to go for Return, I am praying to... I don't know. I'm just you not know, going to pinch that some bits. Okay, I go on the B drill. B drill is practically useless. It's going to get out sped. It's going to get absolutely destroyed. Hmm. My final Pokemon left is Midnight. Now, if he had. Now, he's going to go for a high jump kick. If you missed a high jump kick, I could have KO'd. I could have probably, potentially, I could have thunder waved the low punny, kill the, kill the next turn, and then, proceed, I could have, the else I probably would have died on, I could have killed the Conkildak, and actually I'll probably, actually Conkildak as far as I go with these, with, um, Sylveon and Lotios, that's, but either way, her, um, Bice Production, that was an amazing battle. Actually, this, well, yeah, this was my only second, my only, only my second battle in Auras. First battle was against Mulvern, second battle was against Bice Productions. So I knew nothing about Mega Low Punny. And, yo, yeah, guys, this is pretty much it. Guys, links in the description to Vice Productions himself, if has an epic dude, LOL, Glitch X City. And, well, that's all I can say. So, 
Get out there, have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.